Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. So, you can see me sitting in my kitchen for this backdrop. And it's mostly as usual because it's the best lighting here at the moment. So, you will have to see my kitchen. You can see my espresso machine, you can see the water boiler thingy and yeah, something. So just don't don't think about the backdrop, even if it's not that bad, I've cleaned it. And I'm currently filming with a new camera. Well, the camera itself is a new. I just forgot that we had one. Uh, it's a Sony. I'll clear my hair in my mouth. It's a Sanyo something something video camera that we've had for a long time and we just haven't used it so much because the battery on it is crappy. So I hope the battery is enough to film this video and a couple of other videos I would like to film today. Since we have so good lighting here and uh, it's Sunday, that's my like usual filming day. And I'm at home with my son, so again if you see or hear him, you know why. And I just wanted to show you that um, I won a giveaway on Lux Mummy's channel here on YouTube and I got my prices like at the beginning of this week so I just wanted to show you that I'm wearing this one. Let me just zoom you in. It's so pretty. It's like a very cute dainty little necklace with a cross uh, and gold. And then I got another one that I'm going to show you. And uh, that is also super duper pretty. And it is this one. Let's see it there. Let me see if this zooms in. Remember, I haven't used this camera for filming before. So, yeah, there it is. Super cute. So, so love it. So, thank you, Amanda, very much. I highly enjoy your channel and I'm very grateful for. Uh, being the winner of your giveaway and I will link her down below as well so this video is going to be my uh, top five lux items that I can't live without or if anything happened to them I will repurchase them or just five items that I would always want to have uh, within my possession and uh, I think I wasn't tagged, but Wendy the Loving 50, I will link her down below as well, uh, told me in her comments when I commented her video that I should do one as well. So here it comes. And I've chosen my five items uh, depending on uh, the usage of them and why I really would repurchase them if something happened to them. And again, I know that luxury is different for every single person. So one thing that is a luxury item for me perhaps isn't a luxury item for another person. So this is just based on what a luxury product is, product or item is for me. So without any further ado, let's go into the video. And I will start with my biggest item, which won't be a surprise for you, but it is my my beloved Speedy, my Louis Vuitton Speedy 35 in the Damier Van print. I haven't used her for a while actually. And mainly because I have been using my Petit Noir uh, that I got. But I pulled her out uh, yesterday because I received an item for her, which I will show you now, which I'm so excited about. And I just realized how much I miss it to use this bag and uh, how much I love it. So, of course, she's the first to go on this list. Uh, so, here she is. Oh, she's so big, it's hard to get her on camera and myself as well. So, here she is. Uh, my first item is the Speedy. From Louis Vuitton. This is a bag I would definitely repurchase and I'm actually thinking of getting a smaller one, this is a 35, a smaller one um, in the monogram canvas since so I've uh, beginning to like monogram canvas. And uh, yeah, it's this is my first item. I love this bag. It's a bag you can dress up, you can dress down, it fits a lot. It's classic, it's beautiful, and here's the new little item that she got. It's a little pom-pom, a red pom-pom, that of course matches the red interior, which is just, oh, lovely. And it just makes the bag so much personal, so I think I will bring her out now and use her as my, as my daily bag, you know, let my petite noe rest a little bit. Uh, so yes, this is my first item. Definitely a bag I would repurchase. Even if it's top handle uh, or a crook in your arm bag, I love this bag. Uh, 
she will never ever leave my my collection and I've contemplated why I haven't used her so much and it's because she is a top handle bag and I tend to carry a lot of things with me always and I think to go grocery shopping when I have to work and so forth so it gets heavy carrying all the things that I have so it's quite comfortable having a shoulder bag but I, I, I don't know I'm just not into the speed bandelier version I don't know why it just doesn't doesn't capture the way that the classic speedy does so I will stick to my speedy so she was the first item love her and she was the, my first Louis Vuitton pur purchase so she was the thing that started it all continuing on is another Louis Vuitton piece well that doesn't really surprise you right and this is my speedy, my speedy haul, my Louis Vuitton mini pochette in the Demir Band print. And uh, the reason why I would totally repurchase this item is because one mainly I was waiting for it for months because it was out of stock here in Stockholm, uh, Sweden. Uh, but this is such a versatile piece. I mean, you can use this as a mini bag. You can use this as a wallet, as a catch-all in your bags. She's the perfect size. I can fit my iPhone in there. I can fit so many things. I will link. Uh, I will link you to a video up here uh, where I show you all the things that I can fit in her. So I mean, and she's so pretty. And always when I, every time I use her, I always get so many compliments on. Uh, uh, on her because she really is uh, different and she is classy and yeah I will never ever be without my mini pochette I love it so much my second item is also Louis Vuitton and it's actually two items but they have the same um, uh, they have the same usage so I didn't really know what it was I was going to choose but I will talk about uh, the the usage of it and why I chose to. So it's a key holder or a key pouch uh, and I have my key pouch stored away because I'm not using her currently. Uh, she's inside her little dust bag and it is, let me see here, we have my Louis Vuitton key pouch in the vernis discontinued uh, color palm d'amour and then I have my very much vintage six key holder in epi leather in the zipango gold very old vintage piece so i wasn't really sure which of them i wouldn't live without but i think i just wouldn't live without the uh, usage of having a key pouch or a key holder uh, before i got into the louis vuitton community i really didn't have a clue that there were like key holders or key pouches and i was always like why do you need some you just throw your keys in your bags or just keep them on a keychain or whatever but since I've started to um, get into more into the LV community and gotten me a key holder and a key pouch I do really realize why these two items are like the best thing to have one it keeps your keys in a place where you can easily find them in your bag it uh, you can just find it easy just putting it in and you can just take it out instead of having your keys like floating around in your bag and being like impossible to find secondly it since i have my speedy and i have my loot on uh, petit noe uh, they're bags that cost more than a regular bag so i will you really want to make sure that your keys which are sharp don't damage the inside of your bag so therefore these are great for that and for the third uh, the third, sorry my son is talking and just distracting me. So the third reason why I chose key pouch slash key holder is because they can always be used as mini wallets on the go with your keys. So you practically just need a key pouch and your cell phone and you're good to go if you have to do a quick errand. Like so. <laughs> Because you can not only store your keys inside, but you can store cards, you can store cash. And inside this one, which I will do a review on, uh, you can have key uh, cards here in the back or your transit card. So it's, just, it's great. It just helps you to keep things in one place when you need them. So that was my third item. A key pouch or a key holder. One of them. And it definitely doesn't need to be Louis Vuitton. It could be any of them. 
So my two last items are actually beauty items and uh, for me it is a luxury item just specifically from this brand because they cost a lot. But my fourth item, a uh, luxe item that I would definitely repurchase and not live without is a red nail polish and especially this one from Chanel. This is my... Oh god, I think the camera is trying to find a face to focus on. Uh, this is the uh, Chanel number no. 8 in the name Pirate. It's just the perfect, perfect red nail color. And I mean, for me, the red, if I only had to choose one nail color to live with for the entire rest of my life, I would choose a red color. It always fits perfectly with anything you're wearing, any seasons, and it's just gorgeous. So this one from Chanel is my new favorite, and I will definitely repurchase this one when it runs dry or I just use it up because it's great. And my last item, uh, this is perhaps the item that not many people think is a luxury item, but for me it's a luxury item because it costs very much for, for the simple use that it is. And it is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade. And my broke, I dropped it on the floor and it broke. Uh, so yeah, this is my fifth and last item and uh, I have it in the dark brown. This is going to look so yucky but as you can see I've used it fairly much and I've had it for a fairly long time and I don't know how I lived with my brows before I found this product. This is everything. If you haven't tried the Beverly Hills Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade, you don't know what your eyebrows are missing. Oh my god. Before this product, I usually used uh, eyeshadows. I just wet the, the brush a little bit and just dipped into the eyeshadow and draw my, my eyebrows. I know it's very catchy. Uh, and it always ended up with smudging, disappearing, not being even, looking powdery. But then I read about the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Dip Brow Palette and I got it and oh my lord. I know it took some time for me to get used to on how much you needed to apply because a little goes a long way with this one, believe me. But when I eventually learned how much I needed, I learned the movement of how I needed to paint my uh, brows on. This was the bomb and it still is the bomb. And this is something I will never, ever live without as long as I have eyebrows. And if I one day don't have eyebrows for some reason, I will definitely use this one to paint some eyebrows on. Uh, but yeah, this is a great item. If you haven't tried it, try it! I know it costs a lot, but believe me, I've had this one for months. Months. Like, kid you not, probably six months. And there's so much left. So, so, so much left. So guys, get it. So that was my fifth and last item. I hope you liked this video and if you haven't done the five luxe items, you wouldn't be able to live without them. Please do so. Leave a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe down here or whatever you are when you're watching this video uh, so that you can just uh, get notified when I upload new videos. I usually upload once a week. Sometimes it's once every two weeks. It's just because I don't really have the time during my days to film, but I'm very active on uh, Instagram and it's Beyond Paradise and I will also link it down below. So if you want to follow me on a regular basis, on a daily basis, please follow me there because you will find me there several times a day because I'm so in love with my uh, Instagram friends and my Instagram community. I mean, it's oh, mostly Louis Vuitton, but also I can share other interests of my life, like beauty and food and family and yeah, anything of that kind. So this video is going to be a little longer and uh, I hope that the camera worked. I hope the lighting worked, even if it's just daylight, but hey, I'm happy with the daylight. And yeah, don't forget to follow me on Instagram, subscribe, like this video, and until next time, people, remember, live, love, love.